to another Star Wars The Clone Wars episode. We are on Season 3, Episode 4. This one's called Sphere of Influence. Last time on The Clone Wars, we saw the Separatists with Ventress and uh, General Grievous going to attack Kamino. They were trying to stop all clones from being produced, basically. Um, so they were trying to destroy the factory, obviously, and then get rid of all the clones so that they could easily win the war. Obi-Wan and Anakin stopped them along with some brave clone troopers. Mr. 99, rest in peace. But yeah, anyways, we're going to hop into this episode now. Um, that's it. That's my recap. Let's hop into it. Here we go. Subscribe. Leave a like if you're new and you haven't subscribed already. And that's it. Let's go. A child stolen is a hope lost. I mean, yeah, but you know, you know what? You better not call the child hope. That is done way too much. Is that going to happen in this episode? It better not. Papanoida is caught in a deadly political game. The Trade Federation has blockaded Pantora and suspended all commerce with the system. To make matters worse, Count to make matters worse. Forward offering aid if Pantora joins the Separatist Alliance. Mm. Don't do it. The Trade Federation Dang. is neutral in this, but Pantora must pay its debt before we can resume commerce with the system. Trade Federation is aligned with the Separatists. Slanderous. We are not separatists simply because we do business with them. Eh, kinda are. Please, ignore the Trade Federation's feeble attempt to paint this as a domestic financial issue and allow us to resume trade. They seem to like it. I just wanted to let you know that there are many of us in the Senate that support you and Pantora in these difficult times. I know the Separatists have approached you to offer their help. Please do not take it. No way that Pantora will ever have dealings with the Separatists. You will Good. always be loyal to the Republic. Chiekwe and Cheyamanwe and my son, Ion. <laughs> they have long names and then Ion. Oh, the lights. Did you see that? Uh. Just the shadows playing tricks. Oh, Skyrim NPC over here. What the heck? Don't tell me you're afraid of Kidnapped. Uh. Chi? It's just the shadows playing tricks. Yo, a sheep? My father's a. <laughs> if you hurt me or my sister, you'll be dead. I'm scared. He is a sheep. Talk. You're coming with us. <laughs> the goat man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pew. And they're both kidnapped. Nice. He's gonna have to take the deal with the Separatists now, probably. Peter Amidala, Master Skywalker. What is it, Ahsoka? Someone has kidnapped Chairman Papanoida's daughters. I was afraid something like this would happen. <laughs> Her reaction to everything is always just so nonchalant, dude. Like when, in the Assassin episode, Ahsoka's like, she's been having visions that Padme's about to get, get assassinated on this day. And she's like, ah, that is stressful. Now, both the Chairman's daughters have been kidnapped. Oh, I was afraid something like this would happen. What the heck, Padme? She's like me. We do it all the time, don't we, Snips? Yep. <laughs> Careful, Ahsoka. I still can't believe they let you teach. <laughs> that face. Why do I think? I, th I feel like that's a meme face. I don't think this is a kidnapping. I think they're holding them hostage. A not very subtle attempt to get us to join the Separatists. If that's the what I said. Your daughters may be held on the Trade Federation ship, blockading your planet. We've completed a thorough... Oh, this guy looks weird. No evidence of foul play. Is this supposed to be a human? I want to be honest, there's always those couple of episodes where I think they just have a lower budget or something. And they're not as important. This might be an important episode, but... A lot of the textures on the walls and stuff is like very... Painty, uh, like, potato looking. This dude, what is this dude? That's just how he looks, I guess, but some episodes look insane. She was trying to use it as a weapon. Wait a minute, what's this? Blood. It must be what they used to fight off their attacker. Did you to match this blood sample against known galactic criminals? Greedo. <laughs> Rodian. Says here his name's Greedo. Wait, it actually is Greedo? It's based on Tatooine. <laughs> I was just joking. Maybe this is an important episode. Okay. He's, I knew he was a Rodian, but that's all. He actually is Greedo. 
well, we know he's not going to die until Han Solo gets to him. <laughs> that so looks cool over there. ...between Pentora and the Confederacy of Independent Systems. The chairman is planning to join the Separatist Alliance. If Only if you move the... To remove your blockade of Pentora. Move the blockade. If that were the case, the chairman would have to go to the Senate and renounce the Republic. Oh my gosh. Jabba's Palace. Book of Boba Fett's about to start in like four days or something. Remember, we're not sure who's behind this kidnapping yet. Jabba could be involved. What if Greedo runs? We'll let Greedo know we're here. That way he'll come to us. All right, this guy's got a plan. Oh, Bosk is in there. Or no, it might just be another. It looked like Bosk though, but he's captured. No, Greedo. Who's asking? If she won't lead us to Greedo, she'll lead Greedo to us. Uh-oh. We need to know who our supporters are. I understand your profit margins with the Separatists can be considerable. However, I object to the kidnapping. The chairman's children are leverage. Besides, they're well taken care of. But why on my ship? <laughs> <laughs> why gasp at them being on the ship? How'd they do that? I'm sure How'd that guy not see? Everyone's an NPC in this. <laughs> nice, Ahsoka. Squid game. Greedo, <laughs> baby, there you are. <laughs> oh, that's so weird kissing with that kind of mouth. That goes out like that. Ugh. They must have found some evidence. We'll have to settle things more permanently. Okay. I, I, uh, I don't know about this. Chairman seems to have a plan. You will let me pass. <laughs> I will let you pass. So easy. I'm sorry. I knew this was good. I knew it. You will let us both pass. <laughs> uh oh. I. I will let you both pass. Was he acting on that last one? Uh, no. Okay. Looking for someone, champ? No, this is part of his plan. I was looking for you, Greedo. Tell me where my daughters are, or die. <laughs> <laughs> this guy just has a brain as a head. To come here, let's dispose of them outside. Or you can drop them in the rancor pit. That'd be kind of fun. Oh. Okay, well, we know Greedo lives. Maybe not these guys, though. We're going to talk to Jabba about this. Okay. Keep looking. They know. Sir, we have intruders in the detention area. It looks like our guests got a little too curious for their own good. The baby Jabba. I remember it from the first episode. Or movie. Whatever. What was his name? Little Squishy? Stinky? I think, I think it was Stinky. Allow a blood sample to be taken. Wait, wait, no! It's all lies! No baka baka. No baka baka. Look at that guy back there. It's the man. I think that's the dude with the razor hat. Or wait, one is here, but one might still be in Maz Eisley. Senator Chuchi, how did you find me? It's a long story. Where's your sister? I don't know. We were separated. He is on the ship going to Mars Eisley. Greedo, what are you doing here? There's been a change of plans. We're going to have to move the prisoner. On whose orders? <laughs> this dude. Gunray. He contacted me at Jabba's palace. Uh oh. There. <laughs> this dude's ducking already. Trade Federation. Trade Federation. They don't look like trade Federation. <laughs> This dude's voice. <laughs> Gotta do that. Oh no. Oh my gosh, those blasters. Those sound sick. Sound like little coins. What are those? I've never heard that sound before. No, the lamb. I mean, goat. The goat. He's it. Nice. Uh oh, and we still get a sick Ahsoka fight. Easy spin. 
what do you have to say for yourself? Surrender, Separatist. Who? <laughs> Why did Soka let them, let them run past her? Sipkane, what is she talking about? I want my little gate. Oh, it wasn't the whole trade federation. It was just this dude. Business is war profiteering. How dare you? I dare, because you claim to have no involvement, and yet here stands the chairman's daughter on your ship, held by your administrator. Oh, him. And also, as a gesture of friendship, we are removing our blockade and reopening trade with the Pantorans. There you go. Happy ending. Sussy, sussy trade federation. Okay, well, that was a pretty good episode. I always like going to these big places like Jabba's Palace and Mos Eisley and stuff like that. Even if it is just for like a side episode kind of like this, just seeing characters that we already know, but that are like in the future of Star Wars that we see them a lot more in. Uh, it's pretty fun to see that. We're seeing a little bit of little young Greedo here. Yeah, but the Trade Federation, this episode just showed they can't be any more bad at what they do. They're so obviously separatist-sided. T-sided. Well, I don't know if are they even trying to hide it anymore. It's it's like it's like way too obvious. So if they join the separatists, he would remove the blockade. And and they're like, we'll discuss it once it happens. Like, really, dude. Well, it is a little bit more of a political episode and doesn't have too much action in it. Um, I do like seeing the Trade Federation a lot. Um, getting mixed up in between the separatists and the Republic. That's pretty fun to watch when it's not just like stuff happening just in the Republic where like there's corruption and stuff, which we've been getting a lot of. It's fun watching the corruption on the outside in between both sides of the war, Separatists and the Republic. So I enjoyed this episode. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed my reaction to the episode. Um, If you're new, leave a like, subscribe as well, and more Clone Wars in the future and Book of Boba Fett very soon. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video.